You are not alone on KTAB continues. Welcome back. With Mother Nature striking at any moment, it's important for everyone to be prepared. Now we've told you what this season's expectations are, but now we're talking how to be prepared. Take a look. Living where we do, uh, it's not a matter of if we're going to get severe thunderstorms or tornadoes. It's a matter of when and how bad they're going to be. This is a large supercell. With Rick Smith is the warning coordination meteorologist at the National Weather Service in Norman, Oklahoma. For parts of our area, the, a lot of the Texoma area has not seen a, a major tornado in, in many, many years. So there's a lot of people that live here that don't really have a good grasp on well, what do I do in a tornado. And so today, right now, Think about what you will do. Start where you live. If it's a mobile home, there's really no good options for safety in a mobile home. So your plan needs to think about where can I go? And that's going to require further and advance action if a tornado is coming. In your home or office, consider this. Find the part of the house or the building that you're in that puts as many walls between you and the outside as you can. Lowest floor, the centermost part of the building, and then cover up with whatever you we have available. And something to cover your head, like a helmet. On a severe weather day, there might be a little bit of extra work. If it's a closet in the middle of the house, if that closet is full of junk, like many closets are in my house, uh, you, you make room for your family to get in there on a severe weather day. And consider what you might deal with after severe weather passes. Our tornadoes happen when it's sunny and 85 degrees and we may be dressed in shorts and flip flops and tank tops and we're not dressed for the environment after a tornado. Closed toed shoes are important, long pants are important. You're going to be walking out through all kinds of glass, wood, nails. Dress the part, dress thinking that I could be walking around in debris, in, in the pouring rain. 40 degrees colder than it was when I went into the shelter, windy, and I may have to live in these clothes for some hours or days in some cases if, if, your, if your home is destroyed. Kim Cloco McLean is a societal impact researcher with the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration and is studying people's response to severe weather. If you don't have a plan and things are starting to happen, then your brain kind of goes into like a sort of tunnel vision and you're not considering as many things as you might if you're not in the moment, not in the crisis. So you'll, you know, just from that perspective, you'll be at a disadvantage if you're trying to push it off and not think about it until the last minute. Kim's message, plan ahead. As we get into severe weather season, it's important for people to think about what they uh, need to have on hand if severe weather strikes, but also to be thinking about having a family plan if there's a severe weather day. So where will you be? Where will your children be? Um, if you're coming up on a day where severe weather is possible, just have a plan. And if you, you just the mere act of having a plan helps you so much the day that things take place. There's still so much more to come on You Are Not Alone. Next. Weather experts say there's a shift happening right now with Tornado Alley. We tell you what that means for the big country. Next. KTAB, our top watching priority KTAB. is keeping your family safe. So here's a timely severe weather tip. If severe weather is likely, stay weather ready. Be informed about watches and warnings. Have a weather radio for updates. Severe weather coverage you can count on.